Welcome to Pyrography Made Easy. I'm Brenda. In this tutorial episode, I am going to show you how to create this simple rock and fern scene. I think this would make a great background element in artwork, and it would look really good next to a stream or, say, a lake. Well, let's get started. The Sketch Use a pencil and lightly sketch in some rock shapes along the bottom of the board. Then draw some slightly curving lines that vary in height. The Ferns Begin by using a writer pen tip and burning over the pencil lines. With the fern stalks, start the burn stroke at the bottom and lift up quickly at the end to get a tapered point. Afterwards, rub over the area with a pencil eraser to remove any residual graphite. Then use a writer pen tip and burn the leaves on the ferns. Begin at the top of a stalk and burn short wiggly lines. Start the line on the stalk and end it a short distance from the stalk. The wiggly line I am burning is really a very short zigzag stroke. I am moving my hand in an up and down direction. Also, I am using a very light hand pressure and I'm moving my hand quickly. This creates an inconsistent burn result. By that I mean the leaf is not the same color throughout the burn. In a way it looks like tiny dots or small ovals that are strung out on a thin line. In areas where ferns overlap, just burn the fern leaves like normal. It will be hard to see individual fern leaves in the area, but that is natural looking. You probably noticed that I darkened up the stems. I am undecided if the ferns look better that way, but once I did one, I was basically obligated to do them all so it would look consistent. I do want to mention that you should vary the distance between the leaves on each fern stalk. Also, vary the line direction of the leaves. They shouldn't all be burned in perfectly straight lines. Lastly, vary how long the leaves are. Just make sure that the leaves at the top of each stalk are shorter than those at the bottom. We want variety with the leaves, but we also want some realism. The Rocks I'm going to skip the first rock on the left as I didn't do a good job with it and there isn't much of it showing. Use the shader of your choice and burn circular motion to give the rock shape and texture. I am using the flat of the shader as I work because I don't want any hard lines forming on my rock. As I burn, I am mentally aware of the light source in my artwork. I place the light source above and to the left of the rocks. This means that the top and left sides of the rock are lighter in color than the bottom and right sides of the rock. In addition to using circular motion, I am also using a lazy zigzag stroke, for lack of a better term. Basically, I am moving my hand in a slight back and forth motion using the flat of the shader. This darkens up small areas and helps create the random features of the rock. Once the basic features of the rock are burned in, then I re-burn over it to darken up the shadows. I also re-burn to further define the random shapes that were created. During the re-burning process, I am using the same burn strokes that I used to create the initial features of the rock. Nothing has changed. I continue to use circular motion and the lazy zigzag burn stroke. All that I am doing is darkening up the rock and further defining some of the random shapes or features on the rock. I continue to use circular motion and the lazy zigzag burn stroke. I also make sure that I keep the shadows and highlights appropriate for my light source. Again, the light in my art is on the left. I have run out of things to say and explain in my effort to keep this first rock in real-time video. So I will start playing music for the remainder of the rocks. Near the end of the rock chapter, 
you will see that I re-burn over all of the rocks to darken them up. During all of the burning and re-burning, I continue to use the same two burn strokes, circular motion and lazy zigzags, and both are burned using the flat of the shader. Now it's time for some music. Just another lifetime, just another wasted day It won't last forever, but it feels that way What your own dying, nothing else to do No sense in trying, but it's up to you Never really cared too much about it The game you play but never win I figured I could do without it Cause everyone loses in the end And that's what I see And then I'll go by till everything's gone. Don't have to make it right when nothing's wrong. Nobody talks about it, but everyone knows. Just forget about it, that's the way it goes. Never really keep too much about it. The game you play, but never win. I figured I could do without it Cause everyone loses in the end That's what I see Don't look too close Or you might see Then you'd wind up just like me Close your eyes And turn away Maybe it will just go away Never really cared too much about it The game you play but never win I figured I could do without it Cause everyone loses in the end And that's what I see That's what I see Well that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found the information easy to follow along and informative. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching my video. Did you like the video and find the information helpful? If so, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. Well, thank you, and have a great day.